Hi, my name is Julia Gonzalez and I welcome you to my channel. If you've never been here before, I love to travel to experience new cultures and amazingly delicious foods. Last week I shared with you a food festival in Buenos Aires called Flavors of the Country, where we got up close and personal on how grilling is done here in Argentina. This week I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places here in Buenos Aires, the historic San Telmo Market. I'll share two more amazing food stops that you just have to visit, and we'll check out some tango. The San Telmo Market was inaugurated in February 1897 to supply produce to the new waves of immigrants who were arriving in the city from the old continent. Early markets were responsible for the development of local economies and the social fabrics of communities. And that brings me to my belief. I believe that you can get a true vibe of a city by visiting its local market. The San Telmo market is full of life, full of fun, full of inspiration. Saturday and Sundays, additional vendors come out for the antique fair. Vendors line the cobblestone streets surrounding the San Telmo market where you can find anything you want. Jewelry, clothing, home goods, pet accessories, and my favorite, antiques. I mean, this is, this is for me, for sure. I love it. We built up an appetite walking and shopping, and that led us to Hierro, which translates to iron. I'd like to say hero, because they were my heroes this night. I was hungry, but I guess I should say iron. So this wasn't one of the restaurants on our very long list of restaurants we wanted to go to, but we were pulled in with amazement towards this kitchen. And I'm gonna tell you, because I've already been there, it's a must go. Stand in line and wait for a bar seat to open so you can watch the show. It is absolutely the best thing to watch while waiting for dinner. The chef is calling out the orders, the servers are grabbing drinks, the dishwasher's washing the dishes, there's a guy up there cutting fries, making handmade empanadas. I don't know how, but it all works seamlessly. So how was the food? So let's do our price breakdown of our dinner at Yarro. We had one glass of wine, one cubo libre, one steak, one sausage, one salad, and one pumpkin side for a total of $18. Back out onto the streets we go to find more adventure when I hear that very distinctive sound.
think anything else, says Buenos Aires, more than impromptu tango in the middle of the streets. Tango is one of the most famous and influential dances in the world. Originating in Buenos Aires in the 18th century, tango brought together working class European immigrants, indigenous Argentinians, and former slaves. As a result, tango has shaped Argentinian culture and society. This is the other spot we wanted to share with you. Welcome to La Choripaneria. So we were here yesterday and it was wall to wall people and you couldn't sit down at all. So we came back for lunch and we sat right down. So come back for lunch if you can't get here on a Sunday. It's super busy. It's a very hip little spot in the middle of the San Telmo market. They had a variety of beers on tap, even a cider beer that I had to try. The staff was super friendly, and we were there for one reason, the churipan. So Harold went with the churi gaucho. In addition to the sausage, it has provoletta and chimichurri sauce. And for moi, I had the classic, which is the sausage with lettuce, tomato, and onion. Bravo! Well done! La Chori Panadina, so well worth coming back for. So let's break down the cost. We had one classic chori, we had one gaucho chori, and we had two beers. For a total of $8. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the San Telmo Market. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos while I'm here in Argentina. And until next time, get out. There's a whole world you deserve to see.